Hey, what's up? I'm gonna show you how to fix your Samsung dryer that's just getting stuck in between cycles and it's not turning. So what happens is you turn it on, you select your cycle, and the numbers are moving, you press start. The numbers are moving, but there's no sounds from the dryer, it's just quiet. I'm gonna show you how to fix that issue. If yours looks different to this one, don't worry because this, the fix on these Samsung heat pump dryers is mostly the same across many different models. So the principles are the same. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the top cover and we're gonna take off the side panel and have a look. But before we do that, we're gonna to need to open the door. So just pause it and open the door. And what you wanna do is you wanna turn the drum by hand. And this is real tight. Usually you're supposed to be able to move it by hand freely. So if it's not moving freely, that it means something's wrong with either the, uh, the wheels or the belt on it. So we're gonna check that out, make sure that nothing's wrong with that. So usually this might happen after you've moved it, because sometimes these panels, this tend to shrink inwards. So then the drum will be rubbing up against the side panel. So you're only supposed to carry it from the back. But let's check it out. Make sure you unplug it from power, and then we'll start the repair. We wanna take off two screws at the back, one on the left and one on the right. Yeah, that's, that's already off. And then you slide, slide back when it comes out. And this would also be a good opportunity to vacuum down your dryer. As you can see, there's a lot of fluff in the dryer itself, which is not good for it. It's a fire hazard and it doesn't breathe properly as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to take off this side panel here and see what's happening. You can see the belt still attached, so that's good. But we need to take this side panel off and see what's happening with our dryer. To do that up, we need to take off, there's some screws on the side here. So we'll need to take off one, two, three, four. A uh, couple of screws on the side. So we need to take those off. And then at the back here, there's a few as well. One, two, three, four. To take off this side panel, we need to take off this front fascia. It needs to come off, so you need to remove one, two, three. And at the front, if you remove this, there's two screws that will be holding this as well onto the dryer and on the side here you've got one and there's another one inside there and there's another one here and a couple along the side here so just follow it and make sure that you remove the screws on the side and on the top that are holding it in place you need to remove the two screws here one here in there yeah. once those screws are off this panel you lift it up and then it comes out just like that I'm just gonna set it to the side just like that we well, can just let it hang. And then we're gonna take off some screws here. need to remove this front panel as well so what we'll do then is open the door and there's screws holding it 
So there'll be screws around one, two, three, four. There'll be another screw on the on this side as well. And I believe at the bottom there's another few screws as well. At the bottom down here. Uh, it's more like a more like a like clips. They're not screws, so you just sort of try to wiggle it out. You just have to watch out for this not to break it because it's still holding on to this. So I suggest taking this off first. So it's got clips like that which just come off. Once you've done that, then you can lift this whole thing. Comes off like that. Once it's got off like that, then you can see it still has screws on this side that are holding it. So you need to undo those. Like that, perfect. So you take out those screws. Once you've taken those out, it should be simple enough to be able to take this panel off. You might also just want to remove this board just to make things easier for yourself. Now, you take a picture of where everything goes, but usually it, it's not easy. It's not hard to put back because it won't go where it wasn't before. So make sure you just, you know, Take a picture if you're doubtful that you'll be able to put it back, but it should be easy enough to put back. How this comes off is you slide it forward and then it'll come out. There's grooves at the bottom that hold it in place and you need to take it out from those grooves. So you can see here, those grooves hold it, so you need to be pushing it forward to take it out. As you see, this thing is very dirty. It's filthy. You can see all this fluff. I'll be cleaning that off as well. And now, so the wheels I was talking about, there's one here. So that seems to be okay. And I'm just going to try to turn this by hand. That's tight. The other thing we can do now as well is just try to take this off the taking off the belt yeah I like that oh and suddenly this thing is turning freely suddenly all is well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out why it's so tight and I think I know why because I'm trying to move the motor this is your motor so you're gonna try to move it by hand and you can feel it's tight doesn't want to move the other thing that happens with these is maybe sometimes there's a fan at the back here which sometimes because of the heat it has expanded and then it'll be hitting up against the against the housing hopefully it's that failing that it would be the motor that's got a failed bearing inside, it's seized. But apart from that, this is your belt. If you need to buy a new belt, just put in the model number of your dryer, which is over here, DV90, da da da. And then also these blue wheels. If yours is gone and you just got flat spots, it's not turning properly, you can order those as well. You can just type into Google or call up Samsung and ask for those wheels. But as for me, I'm gonna need to open up the back here and have a look at that fan. Make sure that fan's not the problem, but it's really tight. So let's see, what, let's see what happens. So on some of these, they have a capacitor that starts the motor. You can see on this one, this one is um, 
it's just a like an inverter motor so there's only like three wires going to the motor so this one doesn't have that capacitor that starts the motor so what you do then if yours has a capacitor on it if it looks different from this motor if it only has if it, it will have like usually a capacitor here and a capacitor will be like one of these things here that will be mounted down there now if yours is not turning uh, or if you turn it by hand and it starts spinning properly then you need to change the capacitor but for these ones the heat pump ones they don't have a capacitor so if yours is a capacitor you then need to change the capacitor and then it'll move but also check what are we going to do check the motor make sure it's 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 spinning freely because it could be another issue with it apart from the capacitor to take this off you need to undo the screws around this cover so there's a lot of screws around this cover and around here usually this is somewhere up there and i think someone's moved it but i can access all the screws remove it and check that fan okay guys so i'm inside now i've taken that cover off and as you can see already this thing is wedged here it's supposed to be part of this turbine and it broke off and now it's not able to turn so my there's nothing wrong with my motor my motor is all right the only thing that's wrong is this has come off so what i'll need is this plastic fan i need to buy that from samsung and there's just a simple like i think a 13 mil nut there replace that and then it'll be as good as new